It's Joe Carroll here from Drone Film Guide and today we are going to show you how to do that technique you saw in the intro. Super easy, in camera, in drone, gimbal flick using the button on the back of the controller. I think you'll enjoy it. First things first, if you haven't already downloaded a copy, go get yourself a copy of our free ebook from Drone Zero to Drone Hero 30. Alina so, in the camera. I think everyone's heard enough of our free ebook, to be honest with you. But just in case you haven't, there's a link in the description and we've got 37 awesome tips on how to get you flying like a drone professional. Right, on with the tutorial. Yay, Alina's back, welcome back. So many of you have been asking where she got to. Well, it turns out that having a family is quite a life-changing set of circumstances after Absolutely. all. Absolutely. It is a bit, but it's so good to see you here. And you've been wanting to do this technique for ages, haven't you? Yes, this idea actually came about when we were shooting a music video with a GH5 and it's just a classic whip transition, in-camera transition and we've wondered if we can use it with a drone using the gimbal. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and it turns out that you can. So I'm going to show you that right now and you are going to help me with the camera, aren't you? So you're going to jump back behind the camera <laughs> and we'll see you in a bit. Yes. Let's jump into the computer and take a look at just how easy this technique is to achieve. We need two clips, the first of which is this one. The drone camera is pointed straight down at me, bird's eye view. I fly the drone forwards, I drop off the bottom of the screen, gimbal tilt up to reveal the horizon. We achieve that gimbal tilt by pressing the left hand of the two buttons on the back of the controller. That by default is set to flick the gimbal up and down. Now unfortunately the Mavic Mini does not have those buttons but all other drones that I've come across have these buttons. The second shot is a simple droney. Here I am stood in the centre of the frame. We fly backwards, simple as that, and then we tilt the gimbal down and try not to crash into the earth behind. Now we have our two clips, let's merge them and get that whip gimbal tilt effect transition. So the magic here is with the second clip. Select the second clip, modify, retime, reverse clip. Now what we want to do is we want to find the centre point of both gimbal tilts. So let's go to the first one. Okay. Gimbal tilt starts here and in the middle of that we're just going to cut that. We're just going to cut that there and get rid of the rest of the clip. And now we're going to go to the center point of the second gimbal tilt. Okay, so let's go for that and we're going to cut that and get rid of that. And in the center there, as those two clips are now joined, the blur obscures the transition and the joining of those two frames. So let's play that and see what it looks like so far. Okay, I disappear. Boom! And because this clip is reversed, in it flies and it stops perfectly with me right in the centre of the frame. That was pretty beautiful, I have to say. That's about as good a seamless transition as you're going to get. But you can still see there's quite a difference there between the two clips. So just to make that really nice, what we're going to do is we're going to drag a little cross dissolve on there just to blend it. Now we don't need the cross dissolve to be too huge, just about six frames, let's say. And if I just go through frame at a time, now those blurs are blurred in the form of a cross dissolve transition and it's completely seamless. Let's just play that. Okay, bye bye Stuart. Where's this going? Boom, hello Stuart. What? It's that easy, done, job done. You just need the good raw ingredients to make this happen. A few tips so you can get the best possible results. Ideally you want to be shooting with ND filters on your drone for this one so you can get a 1 50th of a second shutter for your 24 slash 25 frames per second frame rate. If that doesn't make any sense to you then we have other videos on ND filters, do check them out. The important thing is you want the motion blur that comes when that gimbal flips because without that motion blur 
you're up against it in terms of blending those two clips together because that ultimately is where the transition is concealed. So to give yourself a good head start, you want the in-camera motion blur that comes when that camera moves so rapidly. That's going to make life easier and if you're shooting on a 1 1,000th of a second shutter on a bright sunny day without ND filters, it's not going to be such a pleasing blurred effect in the middle of your transition there. Second up, we want the colours of the two clips to be broadly similar, especially at the point of the gimbal flip, because that's where we're going to hide the transition. Now you can use the cross dissolve to blend it, especially if the clips are completely different, and they don't need to be identical, but to make life easier for ourselves, if we have clips that are somewhat similar, it is helpful. Third up, mindful that we are reversing the drone eclipse, so the drone comes to a nice halt in front of you with a predetermined composition, you need to be careful that there's nothing moving in that clip that will give the game away that it's been reversed. So one of the first tests we did of this was with Elena, and it looked really good until we realised that you could see the water moving backwards. It didn't look right. The waves were moving backwards and it spoilt it. So if you have animals, people, cars, anything like that that's going to ruin that drone eclipse when it's reversed, you need to be very, very mindful of that. Just for a laugh, let me show you a behind the scenes of the intro to this video. There I am sitting at the desk, the camera's pointed at me, Alina's at the tripod, she starts to tilt the camera up and boom, whip tilt up to the ceiling. In this instance we don't need to reverse any clips, so we've now got Alina sat at the desk, I've got the camera pointed at the ground and we're going to whip tilt upwards to a horizontal position and it's those two clips that get cut in the middle of that blurred section and blended together to bring us the effect that you've just seen there on the drone shots. Right, so I think we're done with that technique. If you want to check out more cool techniques you can do with your drone, we've got other videos. We did a teleporter technique which was pretty cool. We did an FPV effect mm -hmm. and also the drone vertigo effect as well, which launched our channel th nearly three years ago. Yeah, January 2017. Lots of cool content on the channel, lots more to come. Don't forget to get yourself a copy of our free ebook from Drone Zero to Drone Hero. And until next time, happy, happy flying! flying.